Hello everyone, my name is Veritas, and I'm joined by... Cat Attack? Yeah, he's out in the field. Don't worry about him. Anyway, we're going to talk about a little news story that broke yesterday. Today. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Today for us, tomorrow for you. Wait. Do the math on that. Alright. Basically what happened is, uh, Bethesda posted... Bethesda? Did they make it? Yeah. Bethesda posted... I'm getting Bungie and Bethesda mixed up. Too much overhype for ESO and Destiny. Uh, Bethesda basically posted on their Facebook page saying, Hey, if you like ESO, <laughs> uh, you might want to read this. So the sad news is ESO is now delayed about six months, which will, which will change it from a, the summer hit to the winter blockbuster, which is basically something along the lines of, instead of putting out a game for everyone to play when they're off of school in summer, and those of you that aren't in school, you're like, Yay, it was, ESO is coming up, and now it's like, Oh, I gotta wait to the fucking winter for ESO. Yeah. So now it's a holiday goody goody. So I'll read you some of the uh, actual article. I'll put a link in the description to the console update that they were talking about, and then we will discuss our opinions. But news first, personal stuff later. Uh, where the hell is it? I should have had this marked or something. Um, <laughs> ah. We've been I grateful like to our fans for the wonderful response of our recent launch, The Elder Scrolls Online for PC and Mac. Who the hell's Mac? Who is this man? Honey, do you know this man? All right, but we will not. The bah, bah, bah. But we know many of you are eagerly waiting to play the game on your PlayStation Four. Why oh, you would have one of those? I don't know. And the Xbox One, it's awful as well. We continue to work on the console <laughs> versions of ESO, and the game development has been progress progressing steadily. But we are still working to solve a series of unique problems specific to those platforms integrating our systems into consoles, manufacturers, network, and both are different from the Mac and PC, and both are different from each other. It has been a challenging process. It has become clear to our that our planned June release of the console versions is not going to be possible. Though we have made great progress, we have not concluded that we blah, 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 we have concluded that we will need about another six months to ensure the delivery of our experience to the fans is expected and deserved. Whatever. Blah. So basically, what they're saying is, fuck you. It's coming out in December or you know November, but I'm I'm guessing around December, which is where I would put it. Which would make it a early December release, which would be a very good idea for the holiday sales. Um, yeah. But a very bad idea for everyone that was fucking waiting for it. I know that yeah. I know that ESO was going to be my summer game that was going to turn out that was going to hold me over until you know Destiny and Call of Duty came out and all those games. That was going to be like the game that because what 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 it would have done. Um, oh, I should probably mention they have a special offer for PC players, which this is this is the thing I really hate. So this is my negative portion. The good thing is they they're going to hit summer sa they're going to hit uh, Christmas sales and holiday sales if you're stupid, um, but. It, the problem it lies in the next section right here. Via a special offer, anyone who purchases and plays the PC and Mac version of The Elder Scrolls Online by the end of June will have the opportunity to transfer their character to the console version when it is released. The offer will allow you to begin playing immediately on the PC and Mac, and then add the PS4 and Xbox One version and the transfer characters you have created and developed. And you don't have to pay the full price for the game twice. For $20, eligible PC and Mac players will have the option to add a full digital version of ESO to either P... PS4 or Xbox One with your character transfers and another 30 days of included game time. That's whether you shitty. decide to take yeah, whether you decide to take advantage of this offer or not, we promise to do everything we can to the great to, in, to get the game released both on cons, on both consoles as quickly as we can. We will keep each, each uh, everyone updated with additional details regarding character transfers, specific offer dates, and you can expect the console beta to start and of when you can expect the console beta to start and of course when ESO on consoles will launch. Thank you for your patience and loyal support. All right, here's my positive on this. It's good that they're gonna it, the only the only positive is that it's gonna be bug free. If they're gonna delay this game six more months it better be goddamn perfect on the consoles i know the pc version is broken as hell i know a lot of people are complaining about it but i also know it's really good so if they can figure it out on the consoles which i already know you integrate an mmo from pc to consoles it's going to be a hell storm with the control scheme but if they can do it good for them and if it takes them six months it takes them six months it's, they're not going to pull what is the game that was delayed like 15 times i don't know but um do you it, mean it, um realm unborn probably you know it's or Duke Nukem Forever. You know, it's oh, not going to go God. into a delayed development hell. You know Bethesda's a big name. They're not going to, you know, just slack you off and say, oh, fuck you. When it comes to December, they're not going to say, oh, it's coming out in April. They're not going to pull that. They're not going to pull a Titanfall, hopefully, because it already came out on PC. So they're not going to pull, like, a, you know, a, a selective uh, platform kind of thing. It's Bethesda. Everyone loves Bethesda. And if you don't, you're stupid. Well, so I don't know. Right now I'm having some issues with Bethesda after that article because... It's basically, if you're made of money, you can get the good stuff. 
is what I'm hearing. Yeah, that's what I'm going into now, is that this transfer, I was fine with it. I was like, oh, shit, it's going to come out in December. That sucks. I was hoping it'd be like a good summer game to hold over that big gap between early, between Q1 and early Q2 releases and late Q3, uh, Q4 releases. There's nothing that comes out in summer that's fun. East Hill will be that game that, you know, fills the year up. And then I read the, the character transfer, and most of the comments on the Facebook post were... Much like our own immediate reaction to that, which was that's giving PC players an enormous advantage on the console. Because if you already have it, you can do that. And if, if you already own it on PC, you can just get it for 20 bucks on the, on the console and play it. Or you can go buy it on PC for however much it is, whatever version you want to buy. And then for just 20 bucks, much like what they did with the uh, Xbox 360 versions of games like Ghost and whatever else, where you could pay like $10 to transfer them to the one, they're doing one of those things where you can just get the digital download and then play it. But you have a character that's wherever you got to on PC. So if you're a cross if you're a cross platform gamer or you're a PC gamer, they just wants to troll console players or you know you want to try it on pc and on console or whatever combination of things you want to figure out it's giving an enormous and highly unfair advantage to those that either don't have a good pc to play the game don't have the money to pay for both versions of it or don't want to have to buy the pc version and i know you i know people will say well you don't have to buy it you can just wait for it to come out but the issue with that is you'll start off at zero with nothing. No, you know, you're not good at it. You don't know what's going on. You don't know the skill trees unless you've been watching YouTube, which everyone has sucked that game dry like a popularity vampire. Yeah. But it's falling into Destiny, but we'll do a different video on Destiny's issue. So the problem with that is most people are having complaints about... Um, the transfer being completely unfair to everyone, and then there are people that come in they're high, then they're holier than thou that say, the, people bitch if there's bugs, people bitch if they delay it for bugs, but they're not seeing the problem with that. And some people will say, well, if you're, you know, maybe, and then then comes in the comment, oh, you're just bad. No, that's not even close to the issue here. It's not that's... an issue of personal skill. It's an issue of blatant unfair. <laughs> like, well, it's I mean... just, yeah. Go ahead. I get what you mean, and to try to cut you off so I can get my uh, opinion in, um, it is unfair, because if it's like other MMOs, as soon as you leave a safe area, it's usually free game, and anyone can fight or kill you or anything. And yeah. if it's like that, then I'm, I'll be really upset, because like, you'll start, get out of the beginning area, and it'll be like, okay, well this is a great game, max level walks up and one hits you and walks away. Yeah, I hope it doesn't fall under the purview of late, uh, late blooming WoW players. Now, I've played World of Warcraft a tiny little bit, but I've seen it played, which makes me about an expert. So, <laughs> all I know is that with MMOs, since it's not my, it's not my genre at all, but I'm excited for this one. Um, all I know is that if you leave a safe zone and you immediately get PvP'd by people that have been on PC for uh, I don't know six months. After this has come out, if you play a, uh, an MMO that you're, if you're is dedicated enough to buy it on PC, have a good PC, and then buy it again for the one, and then transfer your character, and then keep playing it on, on both systems, then that is ridiculous. Well, A, it's like, yeah, if you have the money, why not? If you have the PC, which is probably because you have the money, but if you're that dedicated to it, then those are the players that are going to fuck your day up. You know, those are the ones that are going to be good at it. They're not going to be the shitty players. They're the ones that come in five years later because they're whiny about it not being free to play. So hopefully the fact that it is a subscription-based MMO for the time being will deter some of those lesser players and the ones that are just there to be a problem. And hopefully the ones playing it are the ones that are dedicated. Um, do you have anything to say about that specific thing? Um... Mainly touching on the money thing, I think I, I really find it dumb that it's like, okay, go buy it for PC, play it for as long as you want, and then as soon as the console version is released, buy it for what'd you say, twenty dollars, is something like that. Yeah, it's it's like twenty bucks to uh, transfer it onto a whatever thing. Is it twenty bucks just to transfer, or to actually get the game? It's tw the game on the one will be will stop being sixty and just be, and is just twenty. <clears throat> okay, so. You spend 50, 60 bucks for ESO, then you wait a couple months, get it for another 20 bucks, just so you can transfer it to a console of your choice, and I mean, that's all fine and dandy, but if you're going to transfer it to the console, you got to understand, a lot of people are probably just going to be beginning, like, it's not going to be a lot of people transferring, 
it's going to be a lot of people being, oh, launch night, I got the game, time to play it. And as soon as they start playing and they leave, you know, their character creation area or they leave uh, the first town or they're out in the wild, if you can, if it is like, um, I don't know, Sword Art Online or any other fucking MMO kind of based thing. Sword Art Online is an anime for those of you like, what's that MMO? I haven't played it yet. Um, <laughs> it, if it's anything like as soon as you're out of a safe zone like a city, you can be attacked by anyone. I see a huge issue with with the transfer. And right. it, it is... It is nice for those that can do it. I could totally do it. I don't have a gaming PC. I'm using a laptop. So it's like I could, but it, I wouldn't have it. I honestly wouldn't have any positives of that. The only reason I would buy it now is like what people do with Steam is they buy a ton of games in the summer sale, and then when they get a good computer, they play them. Yeah. But, so. I, but yeah, that's really my only problem. And my other problem with it being coming out that late in the year. A lot of other games we're looking forward to come out in that that time. That's like the division, that's the problem. Crew. Well, that's what I was saying earlier about it. You know, it's gonna it's gonna stop being its own thing in June, and it's gonna st- it's just gonna fall with the Q4 releases like every single year. Yeah. That's I the mean, main. I'm by the way. I'm sorry, guys, for my audio. It might have a humming in the back. I can't fix that. The, it, the entire house is vibrating right now because the air conditioning is on. I'm sorry. It's hot. <laughs> Yeah, that's how it is for me. What is it, like 80-something right now? It's 80-something, but the humidity is ridiculous. So that's not ether, but you <laughs> yeah. guys get the idea. In the description will be the link to that article if you want to read it, unless you've seen it already. Um, but yeah, that's that's my two cents so far on the issue. We'll talk about Destiny. You might have heard me mention that a couple times. That I, I have some things to say about that, too. So we'll do we'll do one of those. Um, so yeah, this is like a mix between like a news and a podcast kind of thing. So I don't know what I'm going to call this, but I, I want to do these more. I do like them. So those will be like next day uh, news reactions. I don't know. We're gonna we're becoming fucking CNN. God. All right. <laughs> so, so um yeah, that's all we have to really say about ESO unless you have any uh, closing thoughts on the entire thing. It looks like it'll be fun. I really hope they can integrate it to the console for its interface well. I hope they do that, to where it's not really confusing to play. <clears throat> And I really hope they don't stick on that point of where it's like, leave the safe zone, it's instant PvP. I hope it's a game where it's like you have to accept duels or whatever the hell you want to call them. Yeah, if it's if it brings in the Borderlands theme of dueling or it integrates like the weapon switching or a select uh, thing of GTA's like radio and weapons, um, you, you really, for consoles, you really need to dumb it down. Not for the players. Well, most of the players on COD need to come <laughs> down. But for the for the sake of you have a lot less things. I don't remember. I knew at one point how many keys were on a keyboard that were usable. But then you have people with like razor mice that have like fifty keys on them. It's it's a much it's a much higher echelon of gaming, uh, yeah. where its consoles are more easy to use. So and honestly, consoles are cheaper than PCs. But um. Yeah, I, I honestly will say, as much as I don't like the whole elitist thing, PCs are an are, are a much higher echelon of gaming um, compared to the console. But you need money to be an upper echelon PC gamer. Yeah, and usually, and that's where the transfers PC, come in. Yeah, and when it comes to PC gamers, not to be rude, but a lot of them are just smug because they can afford it. And I, yeah. sorry, let me not let me not say they can afford it. Let me say that their parents are dumb enough to pay for them to afford it. Yeah, that's honestly that's just a big group in general when it comes to technology. Yeah. Well, unless you know you're one of those Korean uh, star, what's the name of it? Starcraft, Starcraft players, or you're one of the, um, you know, one of the competitive players, or when you watch like uh, the Call of Duty yearly league championship for MLG, and people are going home with you know ten hundred thousand, hundred thousand, you know, million dollar or whatever, four K, blah. Um, they're going home with that, and people will make fun of them because it's like, oh, it's Call of Duty, it's console, nah. but it's like at least they're bringing home money. That's paying for something. But they work their asses off for that too. It's well, like, that or they can exploit the broken parts of Call of Duty. But going to like a more um, respectable version of that are like the MMO championships and stuff. Those are some fucking dedicated people. Yeah, like Dota and. Or uh, RTS, RTS and... that's what I mean. RTS and all that kind of stuff. MOBAs yeah, and Dotas it. and blah. Those people, I swear, I mean, not LOL players. LOL players are assholes. Uh, I like least... playing LOL. I'll be honest, if I had a better PC, I'd play it a lot more. But I know, and I'd watch you play it, and I would just hate. 
<laughs> but <It's>, um, yeah, <laughs> we gotta say this for a podcast. This is news. All right. So yeah, ESO. Well, I guess it is MMO related anyway. So that's ESO. Uh, sorry, we're not one of those news uh, channels on YouTube that you know makes a three-minute video every, like five times a day just to hog the views. But now we're just going to talk about a couple stories that actually impact us more than mentioning something about TV and dinosaurs. All right, so yeah, that's about it. If you guys have any thoughts on ESO or you're staying this long, feel free to use the comment section below. That's what it's for. You have to sign into YouTube. But if you haven't signed into YouTube already, that's probably ridiculous and it's not helping us in any way. Any of the YouTubers. <laughs> so the comment section is there for you to leave your thoughts and feedback, good or negative. You're both welcomed. The like and dislike button are there for you to click on if you want to fondle your computer screen a little bit with your mouse. Yeah, she likes it. I, I promise you she likes it. And there's a subscribe button down there if you like to hear, listen to our voices and you want to hear me stutter on more shit. There's some Let's Plays on the channel that you might or may or may not like and uh, other than that that's about it so if you like oblivion or skyrim go check out those series if you like borderlands and you're fucking a junkie of adrenaline go watch that and other than that enough self-plugging enough self-loving and you know you know dildos such so enough sexual innuendo have a great day everyone thank you guys all so much for listening if you as i said have any feedback leave it below this has been veritas and can attack yeah so we'll be here forever doesn't matter if you're here or not that sounds cynical all right cat attack close the video out have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you guys all later. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.